Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome to another lesson on soundproofing. Today, I'm excited because I'm talking about a material that blew my mind. Now, you're probably thinking this is some amazing new material like green glue or massive vinyl, but it's actually insulated concrete forms. I know, not the sexiest sounding soundproofing material you probably wanted to hear about, but on this video, I'm gonna talk about why I'm actually really excited about it. One of our own soundproof community members um, sent me a link and said, hey man, you gotta check this stuff out. I, I'm interested in it. So I decided to make a video and I'm glad I did because I think you'll be very interested to learn about insulated concrete forms. And if you already know about them, uh, hopefully learn some new things and get my own soundproofing perspective on them. There's a lot of people out there already on the internet who are talking about the benefits of building with insulated concrete forms to get better quality homes, uh, more passive homes, green homes, all these things that are great in the construction world. And I'm gonna try to apply it into the home recording studio world as well. All right, so before we jump in, I do have a free resource for you as always, this is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 45 minutes of in-depth teaching. I'm just giving it all away to you. My goal is to help you. So I go through the entire soundproofing build process, everything you need to think about. If you're on this journey, definitely check it out. You can go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, enough talking. Let's jump in to this lesson on this soundproofing material blew my mind. Okay, so why is ICF, insulated concrete form, such a good material for soundproofing? So first, let's just talk about what in the world is it? Uh, essentially, you can see this picture here. This is from Logix uh, ICF. They're one of the companies that provides these cool blocks and they're kind of like Legos. I played with Legos a lot as a kid, so I'm definitely intrigued by this. Uh, they're building blocks. You stack them up in the way that you want for the design of your home studio, and then you fill in the center of these blocks with concrete. And that's pretty much it. The blocks are made from styrofoam, I believe, so they're insulated, hence the name insulation. Uh, and they do have an R value, so they have some benefit as well as not just being massive concrete blocks, uh, but also insulating your home as well. So from a soundproofing perspective, why are they so great? Well. You probably could guess it already. They're just really heavy. Concrete is by far the best material, in my opinion, to build with when it comes to a soundproof home recording studio. I always recommend a concrete slab as your floor because it's instantaneously soundproof. You don't need to float the floor. And if we're building with ICF, we get the same benefit on our walls and potentially our roof. I've seen a lot of people building with concrete form blocks to build their roof, and I'm like, this is amazing. You're building a concrete bunker that actually looks pretty good. So that's why I'm excited about it. Now, these blocks can come in different shapes and sizes, so you can get, I researched anywhere from four inches up to 12 inch blocks from the side of the foam to the side of the foam, and that's plenty of concrete to give you some amazing soundproofing results. According to Jenkins Design Build, which is one of the websites I researched when doing my ICF research, they say that you can get an STC rating of 54. Now I will say that's the highest that I found in all my research, but that's still really good for a concrete wall. I don't know from what they said how thick their concrete wall was, but I would imagine you'd wanna go with the 12 inch option if you're going with a single concrete wall. And I'll explain a little more about that in a second. Another benefit from the soundproofing perspective of ICF is that they're airtight. Uh, because you're stacking these blocks like Legos and they fit together like Legos, there's no seams there. So you are filling in the seams, you have this insulation on the outside, and then you're filling in the concrete. You're just getting an airtight system uh, by the nature of how these things are constructed. So that's another huge benefit to using insulated concrete forms. Now let's look at a little bit of science to back this up. So the Master Handbook of Acoustics is one of the most well-respected textbooks out there on acoustic theory and knowledge. So I usually reference it and in this book here they have an example of a diagram with two six inch concrete walls that receive an STC rating of 59. So remember these are just two regular concrete walls. There's no insulation on the inside or outside. There's no fiberglass insulation. So I believe with ICF, you could use two ICF walls that are six inches of concrete in the middle and put fiberglass insulation in between them and probably get well into the uh, 60s range for your SDC rating. Remember, 
STC is a little misleading because it only goes down to 125 hertz. So with concrete and things that are really heavy, heavier than drywall, heavier than wood stud framing, we're actually getting a way better benefit in our bass frequencies, which are the hardest to contain in our soundproofing builds. So look at STC ratings with a grain of salt. They're good for comparison, but they're not so good for comparison of bass, which is what we're mainly worried about with recording studios. So again, I try to always recommend the heaviest, most massive material as possible to help control those bass frequencies. Another thing to look at in this diagram is the single 12 inch wall uh, will give you an STC rating of 51, which is also respectable. Notice that if we did a single ICF construction wall without an air gap in another wall, we're still not quite hitting the goal for a soundproof recording studio. So I still think if you're doing ICF construction, you're still gonna wanna have some sort of double wall system, or you could use a hat channel system like I always love and use as well uh, if you're short on space. But in my opinion, what I would do if I was building my dream studio, I would build it out of ICF and then I would build my roof structure out of ICF, so it's like bomber roof. And then I would probably build an inside wall with wood stud framing, just traditional wood stud framing. And then I would maybe build a um, isolated ceiling, like a room within a room off of that inside wall. And that would be an incredibly soundproof room. Uh, it would be incredibly well insulated. It would withstand impact from storms and things like that. So I'll talk about that more in the benefits of ICF. So one other thing that I got to mention with concrete that is a negative side of it is that the impulse noise that travels through concrete is moves very quickly and easily. And impulse noise, if you're not sure what that means, is just like if I were to tap on the outside of a concrete wall with a hammer, you would hear the ping, the ping of the hammer straight through to the inside of that um, building and you'd be like oh my gosh it's not soundproof and it's true it's like sound waves that are hitting the mass get absorbed but if you actually tap on it and send sound directly through the material uh, concrete is really really good at, at sending sound through it so that's why we still want to have that double wall system the air gap the insulation in the middle and another completely new wall, uh, at least one inch off of that ICF wall on your outside. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the other benefits of ICF that move beyond soundproofing, that move more into building science and the benefits of having just a better built home in general. So first off, in my research, I found that uh, contractors can save two to four months on the build of a home. And that's mainly because these blocks just fit together like Lego blocks. And so you, instead of having to measure every stud, cut, cut timber, order timber, it's like it just shows up on the job site. You build it up uh, and then you hire a con concrete contractor to come in, pour the concrete into the middle uh, and you're good to go. You know, that's overly simplified. But if you really have done these several times, Times, you can create a very quick system to build quickly. The other benefit is you can save on energy costs. Now, I've found in my research there's a range, but I'm pretty confident in saying that anywhere from 5 to 15% is probably doable in terms of the savings over like a 70-year lifespan of your home on energy costs. So there's a larger upfront cost uh, in the beginning, but in the long run, you're going to save over time. Another benefit is because these are made out of concrete, uh, it lasts up to a hundred years and beyond. I mean, ICF buildings, concrete structures are usually like bunkers. Uh, and the reason for that is that they can withstand the wear and tear of the environment. ICF doesn't need a vapor barrier, so you don't have to worry about creating a separate vapor barrier. Uh, and that is just a, a benefit, one less thing to have to think about when you're constructing your home or home recording studio. Lastly, I saw multiple sources that uh, said that they really liked the benefit of ICF construction against mainly probably forest fires is one of the biggest benefits. So if you're in a place in the mountains out west where you have forest fires, this is a huge benefit. Hurricanes, earthquakes, wind damage, flooding, all of that is going to be mitigated by using concrete block construction with these ICF uh, building materials. Okay, so I've been like praising this uh, insulated concrete form system this whole time and you're probably like okay what's the downside why do i not see this on every home everywhere uh, and there are some real downsides the first one is obvious it's more costly uh, from everyone i've researched it seems to be generally accepted that it's going to cost 
about five to 10% more in the total cost of your build to use ICF versus traditional wood stud construction techniques. Another problem is that it's just not very DIY friendly. And for all of us in this community, one thing I've noticed is that the majority of you guys and girls and people out there who are doing this are definitely DIYers. You like to get dirty with your hands, you wanna save money, and you wanna work on a budget and still get great results. And I respect that, I'm all about that. However, with this, I would recommend that you hire someone who has experience with building ICF homes and the reason is that i believe it's complicated enough that you would have to do it several times to get it right and so the pros of doing it yourself the money you might save uh is really lost in the potential for failure and catastrophic failure at that uh, so hire someone who knows what they're doing pay the extra cost and i think it will benefit you in the long run and the added benefit of the soundproofing is one reason why i think that's a good choice Lastly, there's one other thing I noticed, and a lot of people say that if you build with this insulated concrete form, it's harder to do remodels down the road. And this is partly due because it's just this rigid concrete structure that you can't easily connect to. With wood frame studs, uh, every contractor in the world knows how to deal with wood frame studs, uh, and adding on to it is a lot easier. So when you're doing something that's not the norm, you're always going to have some issues down the road with people who don't know how to work with it. So lastly, conclusion, I totally would recommend insulated concrete form as a viable option for your home recording studio build if you're building a structure from the ground up. It just doesn't really make sense. I don't know if people use it uh, in existing structures as like an inside wall. It seems like it would be really hard. You would need a concrete truck. I, I don't think that that makes sense. So I wouldn't recommend it for basement builds, for garages. Uh, if you wanna have a concrete wall, just build a traditional concrete wall. And, and honestly, concrete block filled with dried sand is a great form of insulation for soundproofing. But if you're building from the ground up or building a home from the ground, up, I highly recommend using this insulated concrete form. I think it's great. I like all the benefits. I think the benefits outweigh the cons of the cost and having to pay a contractor. Uh, the more I've done this, the more I'm like paying someone who knows what they're doing is usually worth the cost. So all of us DIYers, we need to weigh that cost benefit there. So lastly, I would say if you can afford it and you can find a contractor who's reputable in your area that knows how to use ICF, then go for it. I think it's a great way to build your outside structure of your studio. And then I would just recommend using regular wood stud framing. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm excited about ICF. I'm excited about some of you out there maybe potentially using it and let me know how it went. And hopefully uh, I'm hoping to work with some clients in the future and we actually build with insulated concrete form. I think it's a really cool uh, structure. All right, thanks so much for watching. And again, if you're on this journey, check out that free soundproofing workshop. You can watch it at any time, 45 minutes of in-depth teaching. I'm just giving it all away. Like I said, not holding anything back. Uh, that's my motto here. So. Just go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop.